honored because to me this is the highest point of my career to stand before this uh, hall, of, uh, hall, of, uh, hall and, uh, uh, and, 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 say, and say things about myself. I feel very, very, uh, very, very happy. Today is maybe my happiest day. The ministerial yeah. nominee from Kaduna State, Balarabi Abbas Lawal, was a second of three nominees to be screened on Wednesday. And everything was going on pretty well until the point when he stepped on the stage. Just when he had finished telling the lawmakers what he can do and why he's suitable for the job, one of the senators from his state stood up to seek support for the nominee. And just when he was doing this, Lawal suddenly slumped and collapsed, throwing everyone inside the chamber, including the Senate President, um, Goswil Akbabio, into a panic mode. Can you see water, 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 give me water. Water and sugar, water and sugar. Get sugar, 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 and water. Akbabio could be heard calling for help, water, sugar, just about anything to revive Lawal as lawmakers rushed to his aid. The entire episode unfolded on live television before Akpabio could order all cameras out of the chamber. The panic quickly spread to many outside the chamber, especially supporters and family members who had come to rejoice with Lowell in his moment of glory. It, however, didn't take time for paramedics from the National Assembly Clinic to come to his rescue as they quickly stabilized the nominee. Mm, you know, I, it's, it's basically exhaustion. I got the news just yesterday and I had to come from Kaduna uh, to attend this session. And there were so many things that we need to do. And that was throughout yesterday night, so it was purely exhaustion. And uh, I want to thank the Senate for their understanding and also the medical team that took care of me and uh, all the people that are around, and particularly the senators from my state that have been, that are around, you can see them around with me, they have uh, been taking care of me since I came here. So uh, it's basically, it's, this can happen to anybody and uh, I feel uh, I'm all right now. Uh, I've been treated and I'm all right now. It's yes, it's very fit. It's just uh, exhaustion, which can happen to anybody. So he doesn't have any medical issue that can uh, make him not to take up the new role. So he's very okay. I certify him medically fit for the new role. When the Senate doors reopened, there was not a single word about what had just happened as the lawmaker simply moved on to the next ministerial nominee, Ayodele Olawande from Ondo State. The Senate had earlier screened the ministerial nominee from Kwara State, Dr. Jamila Bao Ibrahim, who promised to bring her wealth of experience to bear. At the end of the screening, the Senate confirmed all three ministerial nominees including the man from Kaduna State, who President Bola Tinumbu had used to replace former governor of Kaduna State, Nasir El Rufai, after the Senate failed to previously confirm his nomination. The Senate then went on to also screen the board members and management of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, who were earlier nominated by President Bola Tinumbu in August. Omo Bazwai, Arise News.